Let's see if I can juggle while going through this intro. I found this amazing tool. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it. That allows us to remotely access ah, all of our stuff in our browser from anywhere. I'm talking RDP into your, ah, RDP into your Windows machines. Ah, look at this. SSH into Linux, BNC into Linux from a browser. It doesn't matter what device you're using. It could be your computer, it could be your phone, your tablet, and all you'll need is this. It's actually a tool called guacamole. And so these won't work. These are avocados. You have to make guacamole, but for real, it's a tool called guacamole from Apache. It's an open source tool, so it's free. You can set it up pretty much anywhere in your house, on a server, in the cloud, which I'll show you how to do both. It's amazing. And I'm honestly super mad at myself for just now starting to use it because it saved me a ton of time. Gosh, these things are so bruised. My wife's going to kill me. And also a massive shout out to the sponsor of this video. Linode, <laughs> Linode, we'll talk more about them later. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make some guacamole so we can remotely access all our stuff. It's amazing. Oh, and by the way, have you hacked the YouTube algorithm today? Let's make sure you do. Hit the like button, notification bell, comment, subscribe. Let's hack YouTube today, ethically, of course. Okay, let's crap do this. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna show you two ways to install guacamole or really two situations. One will be cloud and we'll be doing this with one of my favorite cloud providers, Linode. Again, they are the sponsor of this video. And if you use my link below to sign up, you'll get a hundred dollar credit to use right now for free. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, already too much coffee today. But yeah, just use that link below and you'll have a hundred bucks to try it out. Anyways, for this, you don't really need anything, just your browser and a delicious cup of coffee. Never chuck coffee. Now this is definitely the easier option and it's for you if you have a lot of cloud machines you want to manage. If you got Linux boxes flying around, Windows machines you wanna be able to manage, this is it. Option number two is for our home lab peeps. I'm one of these people. Now, while not as easy as the cloud option, it's still pretty stinking easy. Pretty much all you're going to need is an Ubuntu VM, an Ubuntu virtual machine. I'm gonna be using version 20.04, which, what is that one called? I forgot, let me see. Fasa, it's called Fasa, Mufasa. No, <laughs> it's just Fasa. And again, this is probably one of the most straightforward installs I've ever demonstrated. Super quick and fast and awesome. And of course you'll need coffee. You can't skip this with coffee just cause you're doing it on-prem in your house. I don't know what happened to this coffee cup. He's okay though. Now, I've got a surprise for you here. The way we're going to install guacamole is not the normal way. The normal way being we just install guacamole directly on our VM. No, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use something called Cloudron. Cloudron. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but you'll see. It's basically a platform that makes it super easy to install apps like guacamole, which can be kind of complicated to set up. But when you see it, you're gonna be like, what? This is awesome. And it's not just guacamole, it's a ton of other stuff. That's the reason I want to show you this because you don't have to stop here at guacamole, but it does make it super easy. So in both of these scenarios in the cloud and at home, we're going to be using Cloudron. And then one more thing I almost forgot, you will also need a domain name for both of these scenarios for home and the cloud. Now, if you already have a domain name, then you're golden. You can just use a subdomain like cloudron.networkchuck.com. If you don't already have one, then I'll walk you through it real quick. We'll get a free one from freenom.com. And you'll also need a Cloudflare account, which is also free. So I'll walk you through everything. Don't worry, we're gonna do it super fast and quick and it's gonna be awesome. Let's do it right now. Now, again, real quick, this video has two complete guacamole walkthroughs. One for the cloud where you're using Linode and one for your house where you're using well, your house. So again, complete walkthrough. If you only care about cloud, that's coming up right now. If you only care about your house, check the timestamp. It's up here somewhere. Now, hold on, before you jump ahead, there is a step that applies to both situations that we're gonna cover right now. And that's setting up your domain name and setting up Cloudflare. So we're gonna walk through that right now. And then feel free to jump ahead, whatever. First, we need a domain name if you don't already have one, because Cloudron's gonna be expecting it. We wanna be ready to go. So I'm gonna go out to Freenom com to secure me a free domain name. Now you'll wanna follow my steps exactly because it gets kind of weird. I'm gonna search for a domain name real quick. Stark Industries. Is it available? Check that out, starkindustries.tk is absolutely available. Now you don't wanna click on get it now. You just wanna go up here and type in that URL, Stark Industries. Yes, it is available, awesome. And from here, you wanna click on check out. Just a couple things here. First, you wanna change your period to something longer than three months because you want this for a bit, don't you? Change it to 12 months. It's as long as we get for free. Click on continue. Now again, if you already have a domain, you can skip this part. And the last thing you gotta do is just set up an account. That's it, man. Put your email address in there. I'm not a human. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm not a human. What the heck? Well, because I'm on uh, VPN, let me disconnect. Yeah, it was the VPN, so be careful with that. <laughs> and once I've verified my email address and entered in all this other data, I'm all set. If you did everything right, you should see your domain and status active. Good, let's do this. Now we need Cloudflare. Let's go get Cloudflare. Let's go out to cloudflare.com. 
and we'll click on sign up. Man, let's do this. Again, it's free and Cloudflare is freaking amazing. We'll create an account real quick. And then from here, I'll click on add site at the top right and then enter your domain name. Mine was Stark Industries. I spell it right, dot TK, add site. I don't wanna pay anything, so I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom to say free right here and click on continue. Now it's gonna check and see if you actually own that website. Let it finish scanning. We are gonna have to do one more thing to prove that we actually have the website. Okay, once it finishes scanning, go ahead and click on continue. It's gonna say, oh, you need DNS records. I know. Confirm, I'm fine. Once you're on this page, we're gonna snag some info real quick. Scroll down a bit. We wanna see this. Add Cloudflare's name servers. Put a pen in that. We're gonna go back to Freenom real quick. Freenom.com. Once you're logged in, go to services, my domains, and we're gonna click on manage domain right here. Click on management tools, and then name servers. We're not gonna use default. We're gonna use our own custom domain servers, or name servers. And here is where we're gonna put those Cloudflare name servers we just saw. Let's go get them. Copy the first one, copy, and paste. Number two and paste. That's all we need. Click on change name servers. And now you may take a coffee break because this might take a, a minute, maybe 10, 15 minutes. I can't promise you how long it's going to take because changing name servers does take some time sometimes. So we'll get back to Cloudflare and say, yes, we did that. Done. Check name servers. And then click on get started. It's going to ask you to do some stuff. Leave it all default. Click save. Sure. I'll always use HTTPS. Save. I could just click on finish later, but we're already there. No, I'll click on finish later now. I don't feel like finishing it. Now if you scroll to the bottom real quick here on this next page, click on check name servers. It's gonna check and see if things are working for you. If your domain is actually using Cloudflare as its name servers. So we'll give that a moment. And wow, that was crazy fast, like three, four minutes for me. Let me know how fast it was for you. So Cloudflare is protecting my site. That means it's actually working. Okay, cool. Step one is done. We got a domain name. We got Cloudflare set up. Now it's up to you. Do you want to do cloud stuff or do you want to do at home stuff? Choose your red pill, blue pill situation. I don't know. Just choose your path. <laughs> Anyways, cloud starting right now. Home stuff is somewhere in the future. Get in your time machine, your DeLorean, go check that out in the timestamps. All right, here we go. Option one, our cloud people. If you don't want to do the cloud, then skip ahead to the home option. Again, this one's super quick and simple and easy. We're just going to get signed up in Linode and pretty much just click go and it does its thing. So let's do it real quick. If you haven't already, get an account at linode.com. Use my link below to get $100 free credit. Why not? And once you are logged into Linode, go ahead and go to the top up here and click on create. And we're gonna click on Linode because that's what we wanna make right now. And then we're gonna click on marketplace. We're gonna do some shopping for some VMs. Now Linode has some cool stuff here, but the one we're looking at right now is, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? I'm gonna find you. Where are you at? <laughs> there she is, Cloudron. So go ahead and select that. Don't click create just yet. We're gonna scroll down and configure some parameters. And really there's nothing else to do except choose our image, which I'll choose the latest Ubuntu, Vasa, Mufasa. Choose our region, just something close to you. Choose your plan. I'm gonna choose the smallest one, five bucks a month, nothing crazy. And then I'll put in my login info. <laughs> We're gonna click on create Linode on the right here. And that's pretty much it. Now I will say this, once your VM is deployed, it should be deployed pretty quickly. You want to wait for a bit. It'll take about 10 minutes for CloudDrawn to run its scripts and install everything, which again is automatic. You don't have to do a dang thing. Just know it'll show provision. It'll show ready here in a moment, but it's not quite ready. So just, just give it a moment. Now, because CloudDrawn might take a minute, perfect time for a coffee break. So get you an espresso, get you a French press, whatever. Just make sure it's networkchuck.coffee or I don't care, just, but hey, check it out. It's cool. It's good. So we'll get back to Linode real quick. And what we'll want is to grab this IP address right here. Click on copy to copy that public IP address. We'll open up a new tab, paste that in there and let's go. Cool. Exactly what we want to see. Click on advanced proceed. And we're about to set up cloud draw. Now, first thing it wants to do is set up a domain. I warned you it wants this. So put in the domain we just set up or one you already have Stark industries. TK. I've been watching the Ironmans recently, so that's why. And to make things a bit easier for you, you'll want a Cloudflare account as well. We're going to use Cloudflare to manage our DNS name servers. Now, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. You can do it a different way, but I'm going to show you how to do it with Cloudflare because it's so stinking easy. And then the last thing we need is our global API key, which is really easy to find. If we go back to Cloudflare real quick on our overview page, which we're already on, I'm going to scroll down to about here where I see API. We're going to click on get your API token on the right. And then at the top here, I see on the menu API tokens. Click on that. I'm going to scroll down just a bit. A lot of scrolling. I know. And we see global API key. That's the one we want to use. I'm going to click on view to view that sucker. It's going to ask you to verify you're a human. Oh man, here's my test. Am I a human? Oh crap. I hate these so much. I'm a human. Now copy that sucker. Go back to cloud drawn, paste that API key there, and then your email accounts. 
that you have for Cloudflare. A quick note, just in case you're wondering, notice right here it says CloudDrawn will be installed on a subdomain of this domain you're using. So don't freak out thinking like, crap, if I have an existing domain and I give this thing information, it's gonna ruin me? No, you're fine. Anyways, that's all we need here. I'm gonna click on next and it's gonna go out. Oh wait, hold on, what? <laughs> it's not gonna let me do it for this domain, whatever, dude. So if you did get a domain like TK, or any one of these, it won't do it automatically. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna do it manually then. Wow, that's so stupid. So change our DNS provider from Cloudflare to manual, and this is only if you have one of these domain names. Click on next. And while that's cooking, what we're gonna have to do, because it's gonna check and see if it's ready, which is not going to be, we're gonna have to manually configure DNS with our Linode IP address here. What do I mean? Let me show you. I'm gonna snag this real quick, just the IP address. I'm gonna get back to Cloudflare, get to my account home, get back to my overview page, and then slide on over to DNS. Here, we're gonna add our first record. Click on add record. For the name, I'm just gonna add my. That's what CloudDrawn's expecting, so it's gonna be my.starkindustries.tk, and I'll paste in the IP address without the HTTPS, and click on save. And then make sure we change our proxy status from proxy to DNS only, it's only gonna like that. And if we look back at our CloudDrawn setup, okay, cool, it's getting a certificate from my.starkindustries.tk, and we should be ready here in a moment. Boom, okay, <laughs> we're almost there. That little hiccup, not a big deal, kind of annoying. It wasn't too bad though. Let's enter our information in, my full name. Chuck, and then all the other information. My email address, and then the username and password you wanna use for your CloudDrawn server. We're almost ready, click on proceed to dashboard. Yes, we're here. Now, it may not seem like anything's happening or exciting right now, let me show you. Up at the top right here, we're gonna click on App Store. Now, it is gonna ask you to set up a CloudDrawn account. This is also free, not a big deal. I'll explain why they do that here in a second. I know it feels like you're making a million accounts in this video. It's okay. My intended use, personal buddy, also none of your business and create account. And now we can see all the cool apps we can possibly install, which is awesome. Look at all these things. And it's crazy easy. Now we'll say this, with a free account with CloudDrawn, you're limited to two apps. That's it. If you wanna go more, there's a monthly fee, but right now all we care about is installing guacamole. So let's do that. So let's go find guacamole. Where's he at? What's that song? Nick, play that song, the guacamole song. Guacamole, there she is, guacamole. Okay, click on guacamole. All you have to do to install this bad boy is click on install. You can specify a domain. I'm just gonna say guac. So it'll be guac.starkindustries.tk. Now I will have to add this to my um, DNS, which I'll go ahead and do. So I'm gonna go back to CloudDrawn because I have to do it manually. Again, if you had the API key, um, it'll be fine for you. For me, I have to do all the extra work because they don't like the .tk domain. Whatever, dude. But this is fine too. Click on save. Make sure it's not proxied. Save. We can probably proxy it after it's all said and done. Allow users from all CloudDrawn, that's fine. And then click on install. And then legit just coffee break because we don't have to do a dang thing. And just like that, it's ready. I can go and click on it from right here or I can just go to guac.starkindustries.tk, but I'll just click on it right here. Let's go. I will open guacamole. Oh, I gotta acknowledge stuff, okay. Open guacamole. Yes, I think it's working. Yes, it's working, awesome. The default login for guacamole is guac admin. Guac admin is the password as well. Log in. We are here. Now what do we do? <laughs> Let me show you. I'm just gonna show you two quick connections we can make and then I'll move on to showing you how to do it at home if you wanna see that. Here I'm gonna go to guac admin, go to settings and then jump on over to connections and then click on new connection. Here I wanna make a basic SSH connection to one of my servers I have. So I'll change it to SSH, I'll name it Yeppers. You can do a ton of stuff in this thing. I'm not gonna bore you with that. Let's jump down to parameters and put the network information in. Let me go find mine real quick. So host name and port 22 most of the time. Use your name and password. And if you're not doing anything fancy, that's pretty much it. Let's click on save and check this out. So let's go back to guac admin at the top right here and go to home. To connect to Yeppers, <laughs> we're just gonna click on Yeppers. And I'm in. <laughs> How cool is that? I am in. I'm in my server, it's nice and clean. When I'm done, just get the junk out of there, go back. It's sitting there waiting for me. Just get right back in there like, oh, it's so cool. Let's add one more. Let's do um, RDP. I do have some cloud window stuff. I'm gonna go to Guac Admin, go to settings, get back to connections and add one more connection by clicking on new connection. Here, I'm gonna change my protocol from VNC to RDP. Gonna name it my Windows machine. And then pretty much same story as before with one minute difference. We're gonna do network here put in the host name or IP address of my server here. Port, by default, 3389 for RDP, which by the way, you should totally change. I didn't, because I'm lazy. Um, username, whatever you are doing for your Windows machine. Password. And then security mode, you wanna use network 
level authentication or NLA, and then click on ignore server certificate. This is for most of you if you aren't doing any kind of fancy enterprise stuff like having a certificate authority in your house, which you might be a dork and have that. That's cool, I need one. Um, <laughs> let me know if you actually do that, but that's what you would do. But most for most people, this is what you wanna do. NLA, ignore server certificate, that's all we need. Click on save at the very bottom here, same story as before, click on Guac Admin, go home, Let's test it out. I'm gonna click on my Windows machine. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> ah, look at this. I'm in my Windows machine. <laughs> I can switch back to my Linux machine. <laughs> How cool is this? Go back to my Windows machine. I'm in a browser right now. Are you freaking kidding me? Yes. And it's all managed from right here. Dude, that's so lit. What about VNC? Let's try that. I'm gonna go to settings and add a new connection. Protocol will be VNC. I'll name this Ubuntu Graphical. Same story as before. Now VNC is RDP for Linux commonly. So I'll get in here and add my host name and port, which will be 5901 by default with VNC. And this is remotely accessing a Linux GUI in the cloud. Super cool, right? That's pretty much all I need. I'll click save. Go back to my home and try her out real quick. Ubuntu Graphical. <laughs> yes, look at that. Oh, I'm getting too excited about this. Just spam right here in my browser. No big deal, whatever. I mean, check it out, I've got all three right here. Switching back and forth. That's amazing, I'm in my browser, dude. Did I say that already? Super cool. <laughs> okay, home users, we just talked about the cloud and now we're gonna move on and talk about getting our home lab set up with guacamole, which is actually not too bad. And again, we're gonna be using cloud drawn, which is mwah, just mm, love it. Now again, we're gonna be using Ubuntu 20.04 and I've already got mine set up here in Proxmox. So I'm gonna get logged in real quick. Launch my command prompt and get logged in with SSH. And to make sure I don't run into any issues, I'm gonna sudo su space dash to become root, because he can do anything. Now getting CloudDrawn installed is pretty freaking easy. I'm just gonna go to CloudDrawn, I think it's .io. And then from here, I'm gonna click on install. It'll show me how to do it. So I'm gonna click on install. And then right here is all we have to do. Just run this script or these few commands. The first one will go out and get the script. Let's go get it. So I'm gonna copy that part. Now you can copy this entire thing and just paste it. I like to do things line by line. It makes me feel better. And like I'm in more control. So I'm gonna copy or paste the first line, paste that in there, get it. Done, got it. Next, we'll change the script to be executable. That's what this is, uh, chmod plus x. And then the next line is just executing it, which we could have typed it, but we're not gonna do that. This, this is seriously all we do, just hit enter, Coffee break, dude. Mm. Now I will say this, home users, you may not need a public domain name to get this going, but it's definitely a nice to have. So if you already have a domain name or if you don't already have one, go back to this timestamp right here and I'll walk you through setting up a free domain name and setting up Cloudflare to work with this beautifully. But if you don't care about that, then just let's keep on going. The only thing you will need to worry about is your router. I never get these arrows right on the router. Anyways, you will need to port forward something. You'll need to port forward port 443 to this server here. Now mine is 10.7.1.71. That's my internal IP. You want to port forward 443 to this guy. Now I won't be covering that in this video. You'll have to Google it. And of course, this is only if you want to access this from outside your home. Okay, things are done. First thing you'll see is that it wants you to go to the URL here that it gives you, but only after a reboot. So let's go ahead and reboot it. Yes, let's do it. Just hit enter and wait a moment. Okay, once you're confident it did reboot, we're gonna go out to our web browser. I my web browser, couldn't say that well. Open up a new tab and I'm just gonna navigate to the IP address. Now the private IP address of my box here, 10.7.1.71, advanced, yeah, accept the certificate, continue, and here we go. Here you'll add your domain that you just got or already had, starkindustries.tk. Now because I already used this in my previous example, I do have to add a subdomain, you don't have to do this part. I'm just gonna do cloud drawn, dot stark industries dot tk and what it will do is install it under my dot cloud drawn dot stark industries dot tk if you just put stark industries dot tk or whatever you have poodles dot tk it'll just be my dot poodles dot tk now for dns you have a few options here cloud drawn wants to make some changes for you to make it easier for you so it wants you to put in like for example cloudflare it wants you to put in your global api key and whatever domains you have set up through CloudDrawn, it'll do it for you. Just make those name server changes. So if you are using Cloudflare like I am, we'll go to Cloudflare. Here on the overview, we'll scroll down to where we see API. Click on get your API token. Up here at the top, we'll click on API tokens and then scroll down to where we see global API key. Click on view that sucker, put your password in, verify you're a human once more. Woohoo, I'm a human. View it, 
copy it. Now, if you watch the tutorial on the cloud option, you'll see immediately how this will not work for me because it doesn't like the .tk domain. Ah, see, look at that. So if you don't have <laughs> one of these domain or top level domain things right here, this will probably work for you. If you do, this won't work for you. So I'm gonna switch my DNS provider to manual, which is fine. All I have to do is make sure that cloudron.starkindustries.tk is pointing at my public IP address here at my house. Now you might be wondering, Chuck, my public IP address, it changes, man. I have a dynamic IP address assigned to my, or by my provider. What do I do? You'll need something called dynamic DNS. I'm not gonna cover that here. I probably should make a video on that. And real quick, Chuck from the future here, I do have a video on dynamic DNS right now. I'm using the Raspberry Pi and the Cloudflare API to do that for free in your house. So it's awesome, check it out somewhere up here. But essentially you'll have something running on your house that will talk back to Cloudflare or whoever you need to talk, talk to and tell it when your DNS or when your IP address happens to change for your public IP. But anyways, moving along, I'm not gonna cover that right now. What I am gonna do is make a manual change on my DNS by going to DNS and adding that A record right here and throwing in my public IP address, which I'm gonna have blurred out. Click on save. And then again, make sure that your router has port 443 forwarded to this private IP address of your cloud drawn server, which I need to do real quick and unify. Oh, and real quick, it also appears that Let's Encrypt wants you to have port 80 accessible as well, because it will set up a certificate for you. So go ahead and forward that port if you care about SSL. Now, if all of this port forwarding makes you uncomfortable, uh, or if you already have stuff on 443 and 80 in your house, you may wanna check out my video on setting up a reverse proxy and load balancer in your house. It's called Kemp, completely free, it's amazing. Go check it out. So once I forwarded all my ports, I'll click on next, and it should, it should all work. Fingers crossed, I hope it does. Here we go. Oh wait, I forgot to add my.cloudron. I gotta add that too, dang it. This is the pain in the butt of having it uh, not be automatic for you. Okay, I've added that. It should be kosher with that. Let's see. Oh, you know what? It does not like it being proxy. So I'm gonna turn off the proxy just for now, just so it can verify it. Then it should go and move along pretty quickly, I think. Coffee break. Cool. And now it's getting the certificate, which it will use port 80. So that should work too. And done. Yes. It wasn't too bad, actually. So here we go. Pretty simple setup. My full name, Chuck. Email, put it in. Set your admin username and password. Click on create admin and then proceed to dashboard. Boom, but no apps installed yet. Oh, let's change that. So CloudDron is cool because it does have an app store. It has things we can just install here. It's, it's so neat. So the first thing we gotta do is try to access the app store. Let's go ahead and do that. Click on app store. Oh, new account. I know it probably feels like we're signing up for a million things. It's cool. Well, we'll just get signed up real quick. It's free, don't worry. And actually I already have an account. I'm just gonna get logged in, but you would set up an account. And then your intended use, personal. Not that it's any of your business. Anyways, log in or set up an account and boom. Look at this. All these wonderful, gorgeous apps that you can install on this thing. And it makes installing these things like really easy. Now sure, you can install these all manually by themselves, but that's hard. I mean, not crazy hard, but it's still difficult. This just makes it super easy. Now I will say this, CloudDron does have a paid tier. So for example, right now we're doing free and for free you get two apps. You can install any one of these up to two. If you want more than that, it's a monthly thing, but Right now, all we care about is guacamole. So let's find it real quick. There it is, guacamole. Click on it. Now, this is super freaking simple. All we gotta do is click on install. <laughs> That's it. Um, we do wanna have a domain name that will be specific for guacamole. I'll just say guac. And now because I did set up my DNS manually, I have to go make that DNS A record manually. <laughs> uh, but if you use like an API key, you're cool. It'll do it for you. So I'm gonna make that change real quick for me. Go out to Cloudflare, add a new record, say guac. Dot my.cloudron, quite the long DNS name. Oh wait, no, it's just gonna be guac.cloudron. There we go. That's all I care about. Click on install and it's now installing. This is so cool, right? So coffee break, first of all, Ooh, it's almost done. And bam, just like that, guacamole, guacamole <laughs> is installed. Now normally it's kind of difficult, kind of hard to get things up and running, but this was super simple. And all we gotta do now is just freaking click on it, dude, click on it. Yeah, I acknowledge things and just open guacamole. And that's it. I'm gonna allow clipboard because it's gonna make things cool for us. And then the default login for guacamole is guac admin. Same for the password, guac admin. And click on login. We're here, but what do we do? <laughs> I'll show you. We'll walk through setting up a few things I can connect to here in my lab. So first we'll set up a simple SSH connection. We'll go up here to guac admin at the top right, click on that and then click on settings. From here we'll mosey on over to connections and then click on new connection. Now here you can get pretty fancy. 
we're not gonna get too fancy. First, my protocol is gonna be simple SSH. I'm gonna name it something, because I don't even know what to call it yet. The next place we wanna look at is scrolling right down here under parameters network. This will be where you put the host information in, like, hey, what's his IP address? Or host name if you have DNS set up in your house. I'm gonna connect to one of my Raspberry Pis, so I'll put his IP address in there, port 22, and then the authentication. So it'll be Pi and then password raspberry because I never changed the default. <laughs> and um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> if I click on save at the very, very bottom, save, we're done. <laughs> if I go click on guacamole or guac admin at the top right and go back to home, there it is just sitting there waiting for me to click on it. Let's click on it right now. So click on it. And just like that, I'm in. SSH in my browser, manage, it's cool. But you know, it doesn't seem as cool. I get it because we only have one connection. Let's go back. Let's add another one. Go back to Guac Admin, go to Settings, Connections, and what do you say we add a Windows RDP desktop? Yeah, let's do that. So again, new connection, and instead of protocol being SSH, we'll change that to RDP. The name, I'll just name it DC because it will be one of my domain controllers here in my house. Now with Windows, there will be one minor difference. I'm gonna scroll to the same place under Parameters, Network, what's his IP address or host name? Put that in there real quick. His port, now default, 3389 for RDP. You should change that to be more secure, but I'm lazy and it's inside my house. Authentication, put your stuff in there. Make sure you put in your domain name if you have one, I do. And then here's the main thing, the main kicker. Security mode is gonna be NLA or network level authentication. And then also, and this will be for most of you, click on ignore server certificate. I'm assuming that most of you don't have a CA or certificate authority in your house giving all your device certificates. If you do, well, then you probably won't need that. But for most of us, this is fine. Click on that little radio button there. And that's pretty much all we need, guys. Scroll to the bottom here, click on save, and we'll get back to our home real quick. Walk admin home, let's test it out. Click on DC, this is so cool. <laughs> yes, look at that. I was editing my DNS earlier, but dude, I'm in my domain controller. It's very big and bubbly. How awesome is that? And watch this, just switch back to my Raspberry Pi and then get back to my DC. Windows, Linux, it's quick, it's fast, it's amazing. How cool is this? Let's add something else. How about VNC for Linux? Access a Linux GUI here. So let's get back to our connections. Same story, go to Guac Admin, go to Settings, Connections, New Connection. This time I'll uh, keep it at VNC. It's already defaulted to VNC. I'll name this Cool Linux. Same story as before. Host name or IP address. Port will be 5901 by default with VNC unless you changed it. And then just your login information, username, password, pretty much all we need for VNC, man. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom, click on save, get back to my home again, and then click on cool Linux. <laughs> How cool is this? Boom, it's all here. And I have them all up. Just quickly switch between each. Windows, Linux, command line, and VNC. This is amazing. And not to mention you can use it on your phone, of course. Let me try that out. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it real quick. This is the real power of this because you don't need an RDP client, you don't need an SSH client, you're just accessing it via a browser. How cool is that, man? And if you follow this tutorial, you can do it from anywhere. The only downside on mobile devices is that you can't force the keyboard to stay open, like at least on Apple, so it's hard to like type in terminals because you just can't do it. There might be a fix for that, but as, as far as like accessing GUI stuff, it's like a champ, man, it's cool. Hey, real quick, Chuck from the future here again. Um, it totally works on mobile, I was wrong. Um, the keyboard's fine, it's amazing, I use it all the time. Seriously, Seriously, guacamole is life-changing. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, keep watching. So yeah, I cannot believe I had not done this until now. Holy crap, what an amazing tool. Guacamole, guacamole, being able to access all your stuff in a one simple area. I mean, because I'm constantly just opening command prompt, opening a terminal and connecting to all my stuff. If I had it all in one place, just click on it and it's there. Dude, super slick. And for so many different things, right? RDP, SSH, VNC, yes. Love it. Anyways, that's all I got. Let me know what you think of the video in the comments below. Let me know if you try this. What do you think of guacamole? I know it's not a new tool, but dude, how cool is it just to try it now? And let me know where you put it. Did you try it in Linode in the cloud? Which again, thanks to Linode for sponsoring this video. They are my favorite cloud provider, hands down. I use them all the time for a lot of stuff. And did you put it in your house? Let me know if that happened. Let me know how it went. Having trouble, need some questions answered, comment below. We got some great people that'll help out. Anyways, that's all I have. I've had too much coffee. I need to stop this video, <laughs> but it's been fun trying this. I hope you enjoyed this. And that's all I have. I'll catch you guys next time. Oh yeah, and uh, by the way, don't forget to hack the YouTube algorithm today. Like this video, notification bell, comments, uh, subscribe. Did I say them all? Yes, you gotta hack YouTube. Ethically, of course. Yeah, that's really all I have. I will catch you guys next time.